and welcome back to Berlin Boys and I have issue 121 of How Shall Build the Titanic. 121, can you believe it? So by the time we've done these next four, this is 121 to 124, we only have 16 left to go. We're getting so close to the end, it's, uh, it's scary, but uh, in a good way. So in this one we are building the docking bridge and the aft mast. So there's not loads to do, it looks like there's loads to do, there's not. Um, they really go over the top of the instructions in this one from what I've looked at. Because we are literally screwing the aft mask in and the actual um, the deck itself is not that complicated. Um, there is then some light testing to be done. Now, if like me, and I've already seen hundreds of others of you have been regularly testing your light in, it's not that big a deal this. Um, it's worth doing if you haven't done it in a while just to make sure because that way before it all starts clipping together you know full well that your lighting's where it's supposed to be because in the next one we are mounting all the decks together so all three decks are going to screw together to make one deck basically one deck piece um so this is our last kind of test of the electrics really uh, making sure the wires are where they're supposed to go and everything is wired as it's supposed to be um i believe there are some sticker uh, attachments to go into this as well but um we're getting we're getting close to the end now it's time to start putting this uh putting this all together um if you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. At the end of this one, we'll be having our Titanic chat as normal. We're going to be talking about something slightly different. We're going to look at, did any good come from this? Did any good come from the tragedy of the Titanic? It did. Um, and we'll talk about it over the next four, what came from it. Um, what positives were actually been able to salvage from this this tragic, uh, tragic incident. Um, but without further ado, let's get this one open. Let's get this one built. Okay, so let's take a look at everything that comes inside 121. So we've got, it's been a while since I've seen some of that. We've got some deck in there, a uh, little piece. Uh, we have uh, these like foam stickers. I believe these are gonna go on the wire end. What do we have in here? Sounds like some sort of pins. Uh, we've got one, two, three different types of screw. Uh, we have a Z wire. We've got a bunch of these uh, and whatever it is that's in here. So this should be the actual deck, I would imagine. Let's have a look. Yes, it is. So that's the bridge deck. Okay, so this is what we're going to be uh, working on. Let's have a look at, I'm very curious about this mast, and this mast has got a lot of people curious. You know, what materials it made from, how long is it, is it the right angle, is it too long, is it too short? Well, let's have a look. Now, I don't think my camera's going to pick this up, but it is actually quite detailed. I mean, you can, can I get any of this on film? There we go. So you can see the ladder run at the side there. And you can see, can we get that to focus? There is detailing on this, quite a lot of it actually. Uh, I can also tell you from what I'm feeling, this is metal. So, yes, metal. This isn't plastic, this is metal. Um, let's have a look how long this thing actually is. So if we've got this in here. Uh, right, so we're coming in at centimeter wise, just over 23 centimeters. Now, that part's going to go into the boat, so it's going to come in at 23 centimeters. So that is the size of our aft mast. Um, it's looking quite nice, but um, we're not going to be working on this one for a while. We're going to be working on the deck. So let's get into it. Okay, so nice and simple to start. All we're going to do is take this one here. We're going to take our deck in. Peel this back in strip off and we're going to apply it to the deck itself. Now again, if you want to use wood glue, go ahead and use some wood glue. You want to use PVA, use PVA. I would advise not using super glue, but I mean, it's your choice. It's your model. You do what you want. And if you don't want to use any of those, well, you don't have to. Uh, you can just use the adhesive to stick this to it. But uh, I have put a very thin layer of wood glue on here just to give it a bit of extra, you know, a bit of extra grip. Smooth that one down. And that's it, so that's now decked. Um, get on that one holding set for a little bit, and then we're gonna move on to the next part. Okay, so these are the tiny details we're working on here. Um, my eyes are not gonna do me any favors here, so I might have to use the, uh, the old goggles to get this done. But I've put a tiny, and I do mean tiny touch of glue on the end of this, uh, this piece here. I'm gonna attach the wheel to it, I hope. Let's see if we can do this barehanded. I don't think so. But you never know. 
Look at that, first time. So that is touched there, that is tiny. Um, let's straighten that up. So we're gonna let that dry. And then hopefully we will have a ship's wheel that we can attach to here. Okay, so keeping it this way round, you can see exactly where I put the, uh, the ship's wheel. That's gone in there. Straighten that up. And that's where that's going to go. So I've put a tiny touch of glue on the pin to hold it in. Now we do have four other pieces to go into here. And they are, so we've got two telegraphs and we've got the telephone itself. Uh, so let's see what goes where. Right, so we're going to start with this one here. Just, God, these are bloody small. Let's see if I can get these on film for you. So that's the first one we're going for. Uh, right, let's get this glued. I've got visions of this just pinging off into the, uh, the ether. I really don't want that to happen. Immediately it happens, got it. <laughs> okay, let's make sure we get this round the right way. Yeah, that way round. It's um yeah, these are these are tiny tiny and my old eyes are not thanking me for these things. Like, what the bloody hell are you doing, Scott? We're too old for this. Alright, so that's this one. And this is going to go in the back here. It's just a tiny amount of glue on the end of it. And that's that one in. So that's how that's looking there. Now we have the two telegraphs, which can go either side. And these do have a lug on them. So I'll show you exactly where these are going to go. So the first one's going to go in here, like so. I will glue this. It's all the right way around. Yes, it is. That's the way around that one goes. And then we put the other one in opposite, so we get those glued in. So that's how all five pieces are going to go on here, like so. Looking nice, nice little detail on there. Now we're not really doing anything with this. We're going to put this away. So that's the one for your uh, your kind of store box, along with your lifeboats and bits and pieces. The next thing we are going to be working on is the aft mast itself. So let's bring the deck up and let's get this done. So we brought a prom deck up. You can see though my bloody crane hooks have come out. I've got to put those back in. But this is the section we're working on. So in case you're wondering which deck I'm talking about, it's this one. Do you recognise the staircase? Um, now this is going to fit into this whole here now there is a lug and on here as well there is a lug that's going to line up so it should only go in one way um if you're having trouble with it make sure you put it the wrong way the right way because if you put it the wrong way uh you're going to force it and it's not going to go so we're going to line this one up there we go and that goes in nice and clean now you can see there's lean to this however if this is screwed in properly that lean will straighten up you should not be at some mad angle like that. Okay, so if this is screwed in properly, it should straighten up. He hopes. Right, so we're going to hold this in with the single IM screw. I'm going to turn this on the side and get it done. So that's now screwed in. I'll put a single IM in from the bottom. Now, if you screwed it in properly, that should be the angle it's on. It shouldn't be sat really far back at a, a crazy angle. It should be just slightly off straight. It, you know, that's how you should be. Looking nice. Looking happy. Now we've got to take a wire at the bottom of this one. It's going to flip it over. We're going to do that. It's actually from the boat deck. We've had to take this Z wire out from the end of the boat deck. Um, it is now asking, what is it asking us to do? Uh, it's going to ask us to go into this socket here and out of that socket there. That's what it's asking us to go. So we can get that plugged in. Next thing he wants to do is test the lights. This is a little bit overkill for me because I've tested mine a lot, but I'm going to do it anyway. It's taking the cable that we got uh, that goes into the large end here. That's going to flow through there. We're going to plug into there, hit the button, see if this works. Okay, so now, does it work? Hopefully. Yes, let's get this plugged in. Come on, you bloody thing. There we go. So yes, lights all light up. <laughs> he says, I've got a dodgy battery here. Uh, there we go. We're all looking good. Good, good, good. Right, happy. So it's battery out. Right. And uh, let's move on. And I want to side adhesive strips just to hold this wire in down. So they're going to go on quite simply, like so. Just holds our wiring in place. So I'm going to get all those installed and then we'll take a look. I really don't like how it looks uneven that is. I really don't like this being all wobbly like that. Let's get this done. So there's one, 
Uh, and then there's two. Follow the wires around three, four. And then finally we go up here to five. So that's where those are gonna go. Now we're gonna do the exact same thing on the bridge deck. We go from this end here, we have one, two, three, and we go up, four. And that is those applied to the bridge jack, done. And that is all we have to do in this stage, let's have a chat. Is that one done? Nice simple one to get us going for the month, but something tells me putting these decks together won't be easy because I think with anything, like if you do one of these car models, same thing, this is the equivalent of attaching the chassis to the frame. The hopes it's all just going to line up perfectly first time, slim to none, I reckon, but we'll see. Um, if you want to stick around with the build instructions, thank you for stopping by. Uh, it's looking nice. That mask's looking really nice. I, I think it looks lovely. And again, I have seen pictures where people have got theirs very... If you put the screw in right, it won't look like that. It's not supposed to be at like some mad right angle. That's not how it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be slightly at an angle. If you put your screw in right and you get it right the way down in, it will straighten up. So if yours isn't close to straight, um, give it a tighten. Um, but I think that looks lovely. I think it's looking good. It's just exciting that we're getting to this point now where it's like, okay, it's coming together. 16 left after after we've done these four as well. 16, that's it. And then we're finished. Amazing. Um, I can't wait. Can't wait. Uh, we are talking about, um, in our Titanic talk, we are talking about what good came from the Titanic. Surely something good always tends to come from tragedy. Um, and a lot did. Surprisingly, a lot did. And one of those that did come with this tragedy was this. That is the International Ice Patrol, and it makes sense. Um, in the aftermath of the Titanic, when everyone's looking at, right, what's gone wrong here, navies are now being involved in this. The British Navy is involved, the American Navy has been involved, uh, the Coast Guard, everyone is now involved in, right, how do we make sure this doesn't happen again? Because it's either we just let this continue to happen, and that's pretty much the end of the shipping industry because nobody will take these boats, um, or we do something about it. And there was inevitability. So through um, interviews with other sea captains at the time that talked about near misses they had had with icebergs and I'm sorry, well, this can't continue. If we want this to be a viable um, mode of transport, if we want this to be a viable cargo route, if we want this to be, we need to do something about it. So the International Ice Patrol was created and it was created in 1914. Um, and they went into overdrive, so they went a bit mad. Um, they had two ships at all times, going backwards and forwards, checking the ice, which was excessive. Um, but it's the simplest way to do it. If you think about it, it's, it's kind of like a safety car in Formula One. Uh, you have something that goes ahead, and basically, when we're safe, we'll let you go. If we're not, we won't. And that's exactly what it now had. Now, it was quite common for ocean liners at the time to have little spotter ships that went ahead of it. Um, Titanic didn't have that. It was something that had been kind of phased out. Um, you know, and he, even if it had of, with a little spot ship and just end up smashing into a, an iceberg somewhere, possibly. Um, but that's what was done. So the International um, Ice Patrol was set up, and it still operates to this day. In the 1940s, they started using uh, airplanes, so aircraft started um, spotting ice and whatnot, and it still, as I said, operates to this day. So to make sure that those channels are safe um, off Newfoundland and ice is checked so regularly they go out and they check they monitor icebergs now obviously with sonar and and um, satellite technology it's a lot easier uh, you can see these things on your sonar way before you get anywhere near them but there's still a dedicated patrol that goes out travels backwards and forwards making sure there are no kind of like growlers which were the ones that which are massive icebergs that had a little top to them so underneath the water humongous at the top little growlers they called them um, that's what they looked at. The Ice Patrol as well also honour the fact of where they came from and why they're there. Um, so every day uh, on the anniversary of the Titanic, on every one so far, um, they sail out to where Titanic um, hit the bottom of the ocean and they place a wreath into the water and they say some words and they um, they honour them, which I think is incredibly respectful. That's a, that's a tradition that's been going for over 100 years now. And, um, yeah, so some good has come from it. So to avoid the kind of iceberg collisions, because there weren't any more. I mean, there were, there were people that hit icebergs, but nowhere near the level of what Titanic was, which is 
good. We made sure that never happened again because it would have. If if nothing had happened to stop this from happening, we would have had, there would have been more than one Titanic. There would have been a, a boatload of them. You would imagine Britannic and Olympic probably would have gone the same way. Um, but they didn't. And that was largely in credit to the International um the International Ice Patrol that still, as I said, operates this day using all kinds of wonderful technology to do that. And that is largely thanks to the Titanic. Had the Titanic tragedy have not happened, we wouldn't have had that. And who knows what would have happened instead. If we hadn't have had that uh, when World War II was there, it would have been a problem, you know, because for shipping routes and whatnot, it would, would have been a major issue, but we got it. And that is something good that came from something terrible that so that safety was seriously upped and other safety features were introduced and also other things that are still used today. And we'll talk about those in the next ones that are coming up. In the next one, we are putting together the decks. Um, so we do get the, um, uh, we get the aft well deck and LED strip in the deck in. So if you look at what comes next, it looks fairly unremarkable. And it's like, wow, is that all we're doing? No, because what you would have noticed in the one that we just done, we got an absolute ton of screws, but didn't use any of them. You hold on to these because they're going to the next one and we are putting all those decks are going to become one piece. We're screwing all three of those together. Something tells me it's not going to be easy, but we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. That's all from me. If you haven't yet, please remember to like and subscribe. Uh, we will be back very soon with issue 122. In a world where you can be anything at all, just be nice, take care, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.